I get a lot of message. Hello, I'm doing all the whole skincare routine and I'm still not glowing. If you're such a person, there's something that you might be doing wrong. It could be that you're using too many products. Let's say, for example, in your morning routine, you're using your vitamin C, your niacinamide, your, your hyaluronic acid. Then at night, you're using your BHA, your AHA, and your retinoid. Since you need to cut down on your routine, make it more simple because it can actually lead to dehydration and dullness. Another thing that can cause you not to be glowing is that you are over exfoliating your skin. Let's say, for example, you are using AHA or BHA products. AHA is glycolic acid and lactic acid, which is very good for someone with dry skin. Then, when we talk about BHA, we are talking about salicylic acid which is good for someone with oily skin you're, you're using aha or bha products in your wash your serum and your toner at the same time you're also using scrub you need to stop because you're over exfoliating your skin which at the end of the day instead of promoting a radiant skin you experience dullness make your skincare routine simple but use the right product for your skin type Another question I would like to answer briefly before we go into the details or the agenda of today. Which product am I to apply on a dry skin and which product am I to apply on a damp skin? So let's start with dry skin. The product that you can actually apply on a dry skin is product that exfoliates or might easily irritate your skin. For example, products like your vitamin c your niacinamide retinoid your aha your bha should be applied on a dry skin then any product that is hydrating your moisturizer your snail mixing your hyaluronic acid your papitate this should be applied on a damp skin in today's video i'll be showing you the right way to apply your skincare products which one comes first and everything is going to be very very detailed and if you are seeing my beautiful face for the very first time my name is elo and i would love you to join my skincare community yes because i'm a new mom and imagine i've not slept and this is just five i'm sharing this video with you all so kindly subscribe to my channel also if you end up enjoying this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any question for me drop it down below but also make sure you turn on your notification bell because this will actually get you notified once i drop any content so let's go into today's agenda before i go ahead to you know educate you all on the method of applicate applying your skincare products i'll first want to share that this is no sponsored ad so i'm starting off with simple glow facial wash this is vitamin c and it's very very good for someone treating dullness you know i gave birth um, yeah, six weeks ago, and I've been battling with a lot of pigmentation. So that was why I chose this. And my skin has become um, sensitive of lately. I'm not back to my combination or normal skin. So I'm having a very sensitive skin. And this product is very good for someone with sensitive skin because it is so free. When I mean so free, it doesn't foam at all. But at the same time, it removes dirt and oil from the skin. It's very, very good and it has vitamin C. We know vitamin C is an antioxidant that promotes collagen and also fights discoloration. Although it's not strong as other ingredients that inhibit melanin on the skin. So why I like this is because of the vitamin C they use. The type of vitamin C they use in formulating this facial wash is very, very strong that it only breaks down on the skin. So the proper way to use this product or the proper way to use your your facial cleanser or you are making use of kojic acid soap to fight your pigmentation first you have to wet your face when you wet your face you also wet your hands but make sure you are applying your any of your products be it your facial cleanser on a clean hands your hands all wash wet your face then you open this and you pour a little amount on your hands you lather it then in a circular motion massage it into your skin for 60 to 90 seconds rub everywhere in a circular motion once you are done you just rinse off with water after rinsing off with water i do not apply anything i've heard about people using wipe 
but i allow my face to just dry on its own not to further irritate my skin so i just allow it and i would advise you to try it it's actually better than using wipe or using anything to you know clean up your skin it dries really really fast so when you air dry your face the next you go with your toner i have already dropped a review on this toner the to this toner is aquel 5.5 Liquorize pH balancing toner which helps to balance your pH skin and promote a radiant beautiful skin I like to apply this with my cutting wool this is actually a very light cutting wool it's not that deep you just put it and it soaks just a little goes a long way you rub it in a circular motion being gentle so depending on the toner you are using some toner require you to use a cutting wool some require you to just pour it in your hands but always remember that if you're using a hydrating toner, you can use it on a damp skin. But if you are using exfoliating toner, please use your exfoliating toner on a dry skin. So the second one is your serum. Here I have my vitamin C, which is from Chorus. This is vitamin C23. I've also dropped a review on this, but I'm also going to make an official um, review on this. So this vitamin C has um, super vitamin E and hyaluronic acid we know vitamin c is an antioxidant that promotes collagen and also you know fight discoloration even though it's not as strong as other product that inhibits melanin on the skin but you can use your vitamin c during the daytime and nighttime but i encourage you to use your vitamin c during the daytime as a strong antioxidant it helps to protect your skin against environmental damage like sunlight you know pollution stress and all that and when paired with sunscreen you will get all the benefits it, it will not deoxidize quickly when paired with sunscreen at the same time protect your skin from environmental damage so now i'm using my chorus vitamin c let's say for example i'm using chorus vitamin c and niacinamide you have to go with the one that is very very thin so if this is a thin one, you have to go with it before you make use of the one that is thicker. After that, after using it, you, you know, you just rub it, damp it on your skin. So the next one is my essence. This essence is from Chorus. This is name mixing and I've already dropped a review on this. So I just, you know, to plump and I just rub it in on my face down to my neck and that is it and what it helps is that it's very very hydrating and it also has anti-aging benefits it helps if your skin is looking dull and dehydrated you should add essence and one of the best essence i've used and i've been very very consistent with this because this is what actually gives me what i want is this correct snail mixing and i've already dropped a review on this this is amazing and it works so well for me to give me that glass skin or the illuminating glue that you want after using my chorus snail mixing i i would then have to apply this i know um a lot of people always say when you're using a product you have to wait for a minute or two for the product to you know get well on your skin but even as much as people come with their own thing you should do whatever that suits you so this is also from chorus this is a non-sponsored ad i find their products very very hydrating and very very good for someone that wants to start their anti-aging routine so this is very very good and very very hydrating so i just take a little of it and you know rub it all over my face and gently rub it in on my face it is very very hydrating calming so this doesn't fight any dark spots or anything what it does is more of hydrating if you have dull skin dehydrated skin you want that plump you want that healthy looking skin you want everyone complementing your skin you, it can be used by all skin type or skin tone i'm not saying you should get this product because any face cream can work for you but this is the way 
you apply it and you know you get all the benefits that you want after you're done moisturizing your face make sure your face is dry and there is no trace of moisturizer then you apply your sunscreen remember the two or three finger rules the reason why i encourage people to wait till, till there's no trace of moisturizer so you will know that you are applying the adequate amount of sunscreen that needed to be applied on your skin so sunscreen is very important i always say sunscreen is the foundation of skincare you can make your skincare regimen or routine very simple it could be you will wash you will moisturize and you apply your sunscreen but anything you do make sure you're applying your sunscreen even as much as you're buying a cheap sunscreen that leaves white cast sis go and get that sunscreen make sure it's for your skin time it is better than not applying sunscreen sunscreen is the foundation of the skin care it protects your skin fights aging skin and at the same time it will clarify your skin and you will see the effect of other products that you are applying on your skin before i end this video today i will want to let you know you can apply your essence immediately and you are applying your face cream you don't need to wait for one to two minutes before applying it except the products you are using can easily irritate I'm going to wait for 60 seconds to 3 minutes. If the face cream or the serum I'm using contains exfoliants like AHA or BHA or anything, that's when you wait. But sis, if you are using hydrating products, hydrating products works very well. These two products now, this snail mixing and this snail mixing um, face cream. So why I said you can, you know, apply it without even waiting for two to three minutes. If this is a product you are using, it will give you double hydration. This is what is going. This is double hydration on your skin. You don't need to wait for two minutes, three minutes. Even a lot of you be saying, "Oh, hello, you you did not talk about exfoliation." Even as much as I love exfoliant, I love exfoliating my skin, but your face is not the same as your body. Like this product, I found out that it removes, this facial wash removes dead skin cell. So now this facial wash removes dead, dead skin cell. And I use it only during the daytime. And I use my Kojic Acid during the night time. I do not need to add any exfoliating Jiggy Jagger on my skincare routine. Because this product is already doing the job of exfoliating my skin remember adding serum will level up your skincare game so we see you next time don't forget to drink your water eat your fruit and vegetable and i will see you in my next video bye